Assalamualaikum. Welcome to our NIDS Home School. My dear students, hope you are all well by the grace of Almighty Allah. I am Shanjida Rahman, Assistant Teacher, National Adir English Bashir School, Deshit. My dear students, today I am going to take a biology class for the student of class 9 and our today's class topic is creative question from chapter 1. In your chapter exercise, you will find only one creative question and we also provide you one extra creative question. So, in our today's discussion, we will discuss these two question answer and our lecture number 3. <coughs> now, let's start our class. <coughs> this is the, there is a stem. Here is the two picture and uh, also this is question and this question is from your book exercise. Number A, what are the unit of classification? Number B, why is genetics part of the physical branch of biology? Number three, how will you maintain the continuity in naming the plant in figure two? And number D, analyze with reason which organism is more advanced between the two shown in figure one and figure two. Now, in our question, what are the Question number A, what are the units of classification? You will find out this question answer in page number 10. Answer, seven units are generally used in classification. Those are kingdom, phylum or division, class, order, family, genus, species. So what are the units of the classification? The units of the classification is kingdom, phylum or division, class, order, family, genus and species. When you write <coughs> these uh, units name, that means the unit of the classification, you have to maintain this serial. According to your book, you have to write in this way. You do not write kingdom, then hair, phylum, then class, not this way. You will write in this way. This is the correct and scientific way to write the units of the classification. Now, question B. Why is genetics part of the physical branch of biology? This question answer you will found in page number 4. Genetics discusses about the theoretical parts of the biology which is the main characteristic of the physical branch of biology. The answer you will found in your page number 4. Now question C. How will you maintain the continuity in naming the plant in figure 2? This <coughs> figure. And you will found this question answer in page number 12 and 30. Now we discuss the question answer. To maintain continu continuity in naming the plant shown in figure 2, the rules need to be followed are number 1. Latin words must be used in naming the plant scientifically. Number 2. The name must contain two parts. The first part would be genus and the second part would be species. Number 3. The very first letter of the first word of the scientific name should be in capital letter. The rest of the letter would be in a small letter including letters of the second parts as well. So when you write <coughs> the scientific name of any things, uh, you have to uh, maintain some rules. When you, you have to start writing scientific name with uh, genus, then the second part will be species. When you write the genus name, the first word will be in capital letter. And when you write the species name, it will be in a small letter. And you must be put underline when you write the scientific name of any animals or plants. <coughs> Number four, during printing, the scientific name should be printed in italic font. Number five, while writing, I would underline the genus and species terms separately. Number six, I will add the name of the scientist who discovered the organism in the first place in a short form of the end of the scientific name of the organism. For example, short name of Linnaeus is L. So when you write the scientific name like Origia sativa, O, R, Y, 
that a or is a sativa here the scientific name of pedi or is a this is the genus part and this is the species part when you write the genus part you use a capital letter and when you write the species name you use small letter and when you write in with your that means we using <coughs> pen in our copy or exam copy you have to underline these scientific names and also you shortly write the name of the scientist in here that means lineas you write here l this is the name of the scientist uh, no need to put here underline so he is the name of the this l means it is the name of the scientist <coughs> and when this scientific name is printed in uh, printing form you use italic font now question d analyze with reason which organism is more advanced between the two shown in figure number one and figure number two you will find this question answer in page number nine in your book now here we start the answer figure number one is mushroom and figure number two is a dicotyledon plant of these two organisms the dicotyledon plant is much more developed the reasons behind this statement is discussed below number one mushroom does not produce any flower but the dicotyledon plant is a flowering plant flowering plants are always considered as superior organism here i give one example and other differences you will write and you will collect the question answer from <coughs> page number nine and this is your homework <coughs> now we will discuss extra question answer question living world can be divided into five kingdom such as number one monera number two three four are blank and number five kingdom is <coughs> animalia number a question define body cell number b what do you mean by involuntary muscle number c penicillium belongs to which kingdom in the stem explain number d analyze with logic the cause of gradual advancement of the kingdom in the stem here <coughs> the answer define body cell a answer <coughs> the cells that make the body of an organism are known as body cell so where is the body cell the cells that make the body of an organism are known as body cell number b what do you mean by involuntary muscles the muscle tissue whose contraction and expansion is not regulated by the will of the animal is known as involuntary muscles the cells of these tissues are spindle shaped transverse uh, striations are not present in them <coughs> so this type of muscles is also called smooth muscle involuntary muscles are found in the wall of the blood vessels alimentary canals etc of vertebrate animals involuntary muscles mainly take part in the internal circulation of the body such as blood circulation movement of engulfed food etc question number five <coughs> penicillium belongs to which kingdom in the stem explain answer the <coughs> five kingdoms given in the stem uh, coronally uh, stand as monera protista fungi planti and animalia the systems systemic position of penicillium can be detected by analyzing its characteristic the characteristic of the penicillium are mentioned below number one they are terrestrial number two they are saprophytic number three tissue system is absent <coughs> number four their body is made up of mycelium number five their nucleus is well organized well organized means in their nucleus you will found uh, cell organelles like mitochondria nuclear membrane nucleoplasm cytoplasm golgi body endoplasmic reticulum these things <coughs> number six they take their food by the absorption that means they take their food from other 
plants and animals number seven chloroplast is absent in cells because of the absence absent of the chloroplast they cannot produce their own food by themselves that's why they absorb food from other plants and animals <coughs> now question d analyze with logic the cause of gradual advancement of kingdom in the state we found here monera then we found here two three four are blank and now animalia monera is a prokaryotic then animalia is a uh, then uh, their cells are developed and we found a developed well organized cell in animalia kingdom <coughs> question answer d R.H. Whitaker in 1969 first proposed the first kingdom classification of the living organisms. Later, in 1974, Margulis, another scientist, placed these five kingdoms in two super kingdoms. They, these are Prokaryota and Eukaryota. Now, she placed only one kingdom, Monera, in the super kingdom Prokaryota and four kingdoms, Protista, fungi, planti and elimelia in the super kingdom eukaryota. Now <coughs> when the features of the organisms are considered it will be found that organisms of the kingdom number one monera are simple unicellular or multicellular and microscopic with nucleus having no well organized membrane. As we uh, proceed we will find that the organism gradually developed into complex to very complex structure. <coughs> In kingdom monera, its cells are not well organized and when they are going gradually, that means monera, protista, uh, planti, fungi and animalia, their cells are uh, gradually developed. The characteristic and number of the cells structure of the body, nature of the food habit, movement, etc. of the organisms include in one kingdom are developed in a more organized and improved way in the next kingdom. For example, <coughs> the nucleus of the organism of the kingdom Monera is not well organized and most of the organisms in this kingdom are unicellular. But the organisms eukaryotal of the kingdoms are multicellular and their cells have well organized nucleus and most of the organisms in this kingdom are unicellular. The organisms of kingdom number two, protista and three fungi have no tissue differentiation but organisms of the kingdom four, planti and five animalia have well organized tissue system in the body. The organisms <coughs> include in kingdom number one two four take their food by absorption and cannot engulf their food but the organisms of the kingdom number five animalia engulf their food moreover the organisms of the kingdom number five animalia have the capacity of locomotion which is generally absent in the other kingdom now, considering all these features, it may be concluded that the classification of the living world into five kingdom and their arrangement in hierarchically is justified and scientific. My dear students, I hope you can understand these two question answer. This two question answer is very, very important for you. And I hope you will memorize this question answer at your home, practice it well. And you will do homework, creative question number one, D part, you will write <coughs> and submit it on the due date, that means on Saturday from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Till then, keep well. Assalamu alaikum.